my soul needed a savage friend, a weird daredevil, but do you mend my life? You came at it and thinks you got me on the wrong track. Fought the cancer in a colder sack. Lean says bite back. On life stacked racetrack, we react. Lacking the cool, but we lean and we lean. Hanyaseyo, John and Lou Mida. Hi, I'm Lou. Mm, yo, yo. <laughs> You're doing Juni today. Kim Nam Junshi. So, um, I uh, leaned away at like a fate village town fate thing. I don't know what it is. Festival. So it's me again today for Juni. So I am going to react to Lost, and then I'm also going to react to Grow. Gro what is that? Groin. I'm going to react to Groin. I'm not going to react to the full album just because, guys, I am like studying for exams and I'm trying to get stuff done by next week. And plus, my day job is killing me. And it is Memorial Day weekend. And um, even though I've got homework to do and stuff to do, I I have found, I live in Utah, it's a dry kind of state. I found soju. Woohoo! So we're going to drink some soju on the reaction today. Cheers. So I'll be doing that. I only had peach. I think like it's so weird that in the States they only have the like flavored soju. And it's really hard to get in, in Utah because of like Utah so weird with alcohol. I don't drink much alcohol. So this I had a little bit yesterday. But like I'm like I'm like a like fluff ball. I like <laughs> a couple of sips of this and I'll be like, woo. So I can't drink too much because I've got work to do later on, but I thought I'd drink some soju while reacting to mm, Juni. Okay, let's do this. Let me, uh, let me switch windows and start the video. Let's do it. Wait, 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 wait. The sound's down on that. Why is it so far down? Okay, let's start it again. I also don't have um, a shot glass. I only have a glass. So we're having soju in a glass. So, okay, let's start again. Let me just pour my soju quick. Sorry. Okay, I need a shot glass. It's because I don't drink any alcohol ever. So, okay, let's do it. Good evening. Join Chen <laughs> Presenting his new solo single. Lost. Wait, I do kind of understand it before everyone in the thing. Let's put the English subtitles on. Performing for us tonight. Give it up for him. Wait, is that RM in the as a cameraman as well? Like off the bat, I get the maze thing straight away. Like finding your identity, it's very much part of RM's mm, discourse. Is like you know finding out living your life authentically finding you the real you you know figuring out who you're supposed to be i get that straight away this is really interesting and this is really um artistically filmed and that was like the 
That beginning of the song was so different. I've never heard that before. Okay. Oh, the Russian goal is him too. Um, this is interesting to figure out what I'm like trying to figure like the first words it said was Namjoon's brain. So I'm kind of thinking that this is happening in his brain, maybe, which is like a maze, which kind of like he's a really deep thinker. So that makes sense. But I don't know who the co-workers are, if they're either versions of him or, like, they represent different thoughts that he has. Like, I like the chaotic filming of this and the, like, topsy-turviness of it. It's really cool. Now pick it up, throw it in a truck, dump it underground. Pick it up, throw it in a truck, dump it underground. Pick it up, throw it in a truck, dump it underground. Pick it up now, nah, let's go dump. Dump it underground, shit. Dump it underground, shit. I'm chopping over your pig, I heard it in truth. I get lost in the ground, run a bag in that truck. Got them lost. Got them lost. I like the beat to this. This is really cool beat. Like, uh, I could definitely see myself just playing this while I'm chilling around the house. Um, it's got a really, really catchy beat. I think it's one of those songs as well that grows on you. Like initially, like I was like, okay, this is cool. It's got a good beat. But like, I think it will be, I think it'll be one of those songs that I find really addictive. Like a lot of the songs on the Indigo al album where you just like listen to it over and over again. And it's just um, something that you really just um, connect to. I also connect to the song a lot, I think, because so many of us are lost and battle to find our path or our way. And there's like so many different paths you can choose in life, I guess. So you have to find one that you're comfortable with that's all, like true to who you are. The I never hit the club before thing, like I guess it alludes as well, I might allude to his life as an idol being like not allowed to do certain things and that now like like when he's older he can do things he was like maybe not allowed to do when he was younger. Um, you know, like a, a lot of, it's not like his childhood was taken away, but a lot of those younger tw years in your 20s, when you do normal things that other people do, dating and going to clubs and stuff like that, that was obviously like denied to K-pop idols. So maybe that's what he's referring to as well, is that like he's able to nowadays to do more stuff than he was like allowed to do in the past. You know, it's like so weird that you have to like live by those like rules and and I guess not just for idols, but rules in life sometimes means you you can't live like you want to live because you're restricted in some way. See, the office thing makes me think of like that monotonous life that a lot of people lead. Like you literally call it the hamster wheel where you go to work, come home, eat, sleep, go to work, come home, eat, sleep every day, which is the majority of like people um, do in life. 
that are part of like, uh, mm, what's the word, mm, restrictive constructs, um, you know, corporate kind of capitalism world that we live in. So I kind of feel like uh, maybe he's commenting as well on on that those restrictions. And I think especially in Korea where everybody's like the job industry is really competitive and everybody's competing for that one job behind a desk in a cubicle. And like once you get there, you're just working day and night. You're working from like seven in the morning till nine o'clock at night. Um, and so like you don't have a chance to find, like you can't define yourself by the job that you do. So you can't necessarily find who you should be authentically. So maybe, maybe that's what he's saying with this. Every morning, every night, I always feel it like this. That, that actually like the water cooler thing makes me think of that saying of like how everybody gathers around the water cooler for gossip and the guy emptying the water out of the water cooler like that is kind of like just how society runs off of gossip in a way. Maybe I'm thinking too much into it of like uh, the toxic culture that can happen uh, when you're like forced to spend most of your time with colleagues and workmates that you wouldn't necessarily be people that you would choose to, you know, be with, like, mm, go to war with in a way, in an essence, you know what I mean? Like people that are like, you have to get along with because they're your workmates. And in the morning, I feel love, I hug it in excitement. Every morning, every night, I always feel excitement. When I feel lonely as fog, I see the lifeless. I'm never loving and low, I'm gonna lightless. Uh, I've got the laws. I've never been a club before, I hit the club. I never felt so free before, you got them girls. I never felt so free before I got temptation I got temptation See that is like a, I guess a representation of trying to escape your th thoughts Trapped by your own thoughts maybe Trying to escape the life you've set for yourself Like maybe you're in the wrong place Oh, I guess it's kind of like RM said, right person, wrong place. So you're trying to like escape that in a way, maybe. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what I think of when I see that. But it, I think it like that represents physical, external. Oh, I'm in the wrong vocation. Or, oh, I'm living in the wrong place. Or, oh, like I'm have I'm surrounded by the wrong circle of friends. Or, oh, like... I'm living in an environment with somebody who's toxic and you want to escape, but it can also be the internal, like escaping from yourself because a lot of times we do this to ourselves. We have the, <laughs> the surgery is making me hiccup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay. I was just saying the internal side of things, like where you want to escape your brain because your brain just overthinks everything and like totally like when you're in a bad place externally or and mentally like you just you try to find figure out ways to escape it I guess I know the soju is affecting me already like I don't even know what I'm saying I'm just jabbering but that's kind of what I feel like <laughs> I got temptation. I got temptation. I really like the temptation thing because it's like me escaping. I'm doing exactly what RM is doing right now. I'm es escaping a situation that I'm not happy in. Like I live in Utah. It's a great place. It's not for me. It's a really good place if you have community and family, but for single folks like me, it's not good. So I kind of feel like 
like the, when he says the temptation thing, like I've got temptation. Like that's why I then decided to go to South Korea in August because that is the temptation. And I went with it because life is too short to be sad and miserable. So. <laughs> Got him. That was incredible. Was this out everywhere? Give it up for RM. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking. It's thinking through my soju haze. Mm. Kind of feel like maybe it's also a reflection from him on the possible lives he could have lived. Because I feel like when like that scene where let's just go back to it, mm, where he's standing there and realizing he's like standing with people on a stage. Like he was living in his head, maybe, maybe the the work cu culture, the work, the shots of like him being in, in an office working, maybe that was the person that he might have been if he hadn't chosen to be uh, join Bang Tang and be an idol. You know, it could be parallel paths you could take where you would be unhappy with, because I mean, obviously with RM, his passion is music. That's what he wants to do. That's what he loves to do. And even I think, okay, this is my, this is my take. Okay. He's in the military, right? I feel like RM is an um, ambassador for peace and that's always been him. And he's always str like strode for um, loving yourself, love, like loving each other for peace, peace, within communities peace within the army and i feel like him even in the military he chose to join the band because music brings him peace too and i feel like military even though it's a necessity in south korea to defend the country and to, to train in the military like a military career man is the antithesis of what rm is I feel like, and I might be wrong because I don't know what goes on in his head, but like just from what I've seen, I feel like um, him choosing to be in the band brings him some form of like comfort because he's still got the music. And so like this MV, I'm so tipsy, I'm trying to do this. This MV is about him recognizing maybe that he's chosen a path where it's hard work, but it's what he's passionate about and what he loves. I think also from the Indigo album, we know that he wants to also live like a wildflower and also not maybe the fame has like a negative side to it. But I think in general, I think that's the comment, that's the gist I'm getting from this. And I also think that, and I'm losing my train of thought, Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Hmm. Oh, no, it's gone. The thought has gone. I, was, I had a really good thought there and it's gone. Um, something about this MV. It'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think also he wrote this album, wasn't it just after Indigo, I think? when he was mm, in that like whole angst of going to the military, the hiatus, hiatus thing. Um, and we knew, Army knew that like from the Festa dinner that he's not 100% happy. So the, I, I'm betting this album is probably um, speaks a lot about that is about like finding yourself, your self identity going forward. Like, where are you comfortable? How can you live life fully? That is kind of what I was going to say. So, okay, let's finish this. And I should not be drinking any more soju right now. This stuff is freaking strong. Granted, the last time I drank alcohol was like three years ago. 
But yeah. Losses out everywhere. Give it up for RM. Awesome, like the stickers on the ceiling. We know we've been there, we've seen that on our office ceilings <laughs> um, and warehouses and stuff like that. And the like attention to detail in this MV is beautiful. That is like such a such a uh, genuine, authentic RM dialogue that happened here and the lyricism that rm has in this is insane i love that that was really cool i like even the actual song itself you can hear the humor in it like even though he's making a commentary about like living in a, a, a good life and figuring out what you want and need and where you should be and finding the right place for yourself i feel like um like I was going to say, <laughs> this stuff's powerful. Um, um, yeah, I feel like the, like the, um, I was saying something. Yeah, even though like he's doing that, he's still got humor in it. That's what I was going to say. Um, so there was definitely a lot of his humor, subtle humor that just went right through it. And I love his humor because he can either be sarcastic or dry humor. Um, and he like, play, it's like, like, what is the word here? I feel like he was like deliberately vague in this to, and it pulls Army in and it's like, uh, it's like just a, I don't know, it's just, I like that deliberate vagueness in it. I think it's really cool. Okay, <sighs> enough waffling. Let us go over and look at the next song which is groin let's do that okay boo whoa and the sound is very soft why are you so soft okay all righty we are now going to look at groin i found one i don't know if it has english lyrics i hope so it says color coded lyrics i don't know but this was somebody like somebody recommended that i listen to this so we're going to listen to it and see what it's about. I can't wait to listen to the whole album, which I'm going to do this afternoon while I'm studying. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Stafford, I'm just going to have some more soju. interesting Yo, Sesang it says on the Segi Gamana. I'll tell I'll go walk, I'll see you in a gara. Sesang it, I saw the Segi Gamana. Put it trick of cats in the clothes and get by by the fuck it up. Fuck it up, bitch. Every time you know I fuck it up. Fuck it up, bitch. Eat up your palm body to manage your mouth. Holy shit! This is so good. 
I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the the begin. Like I was expecting a slow song with the beginning, and it wasn't. I, I got to, I got to play that again because holy shit! And I hadn't put it on full screen. Sorry. Okay, let's do it. Just I want to do where he comes in. Okay. Right now I'm ready for it. <laughs> Yo, Sesang and Chess on the Seggy Gamada. Also, I will walk, cut the key in a gara. Sesang and I saw the Seggy Gamada. Puri Chick of Katsum and I toss a barba. Fuck it up, fuck it up, bitch. Every time you know I fuck it up, fuck it up, bitch. Eat up your bomb body to Manchu Gamada. I soon even mocked her. Tying a mother neck and an old and a old head, not a fucking diplomat. He's a good salmon honey, but check him or don't up. I see what I see, I be what I be. I'll set you free. Can tell me nothing, not so far. What if you just come? Get your ass out of trunk. Get your ass out of trunk. Get your ass out of trunk. Yo, face on the floor. Oh, get your ass out of trunk. Get your ass out of trunk. Get your ass out of trunk. Don't care what you talk. Get yeah. your ass out of trunk. Get your ass out of trunk. Get your ass out of trunk. You walk like a dog. Get yeah. your ass out of trunk. Get your ass out of trunk. Ass out of trunk. Ass, ass out of trunk. Okay, and there's so many songs of RMs that I love that is like in my top five list of songs uh, from BTS. This is like, this is like knocking everything over. This is so cool. I love this song so freaking damn much. Lean, this is going on the la 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 like list immediately. I mean, this could actually go on our summer playlist too, because this is a really good summer vibe song as well. Oh my God, this is such a cool song. I love this song so much. This is, it's got so much like rhythm funk to it. The rap is on point. Like it is so good. I love it. Yo, Sesang and Chess on the Seki Gamana. Also, I will walk, have a key in a gara. Sesang and I saw the Seki Gamana. None of Tossa get barba, can't Tossa get barba. Yeah, I fuck it up. I fuck it up. Sing on and head of team, man, I suck it up. He's an incognito, total Gaburo. San and Hong Kong get all money from Sobido. Or Tommy or the Bobido. And he could never know. That's a kaga side for a hot team, man, you never know. No one's on Gara to a good old child. Like. I love this song so much because I mean it's not only really speaking to the haters, but he's speaking of the people that don't understand him, don't get him, don't don't like, don't understand his personality, don't understand his message, don't understand what he stands for, and like that's kind of what I'm getting from it. Um, like it kind of like. Reminds me a little bit of like, I guess, Lean and my for weird friendship and, and why we're friends and the fact that we battle to connect a lot of times with a lot of people and we, we're a bit strange. <laughs> but yeah, you guys know that. But like, I kind of feel like we were speaking about this the other day that when we first started Lean and Lou Brand, which was way before this channel, we didn't have an idea of what kind of brand it would look like and i think we had like our very first logo was like a silhouette of us with suitcases because we were going to do a travel vlog because we were intending at the time to go over to asia and do a lot of filming there uh, with our producer but anyway it changed over time but in the very beginning we were concerned about how we would be perceived on vlogs and in social media and just because we we're both a little strange um and then i think just before i got the cancer we started not caring as much we got some really nasty comments every now and then about like from people that didn't connect with us but generally most of the time people enjoyed 
our chemistry and dynamic together as friends. And so I feel like this song is very much like our motto right now is especially with this channel is we want we want people to be respectful on this channel and be kind we're here to like promote mu music and musicians and we're here to support fans and don't like troll on this channel don't come on this channel with hateful comments because you're gonna get shadow banned but generally speaking is like this is who we are blah some people are gonna like us some people are not please respect us that's basically it like you don't have to watch our content if you if you really don't like it so i feel like this song in a way talks to a bit of that um i gotta rewatch it again just to like because the it's such a catchy song and his rap is just distracting me it's so good that i, I like i need to go through it line by line but i really think it's like freaking awesome it's a really good song I see what I see, I be what I be, I'll set you free. Ooh. That's Stop. I want to play it again and just vibe to it, not stop at once and just vibe to it. But now I'm going to get past the advert first. No, I want to. No, 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 no. What is going on? Okay, I don't want to. Let's go back. I hate it when it does that. Isn't that annoying? It just automatically decides where it's going to put you. Okay, here we go. I see what I see, I be what I be, I'll set you free. Can tell you nothing, not so far, what if you just come? Get your ass out of the trunk, get your ass out of the trunk, get your ass out of the trunk. Your face, I'm like, fuck, get your ass out of the trunk, get your ass out of the trunk, get your ass out of the trunk. Don't care what you talk, get your ass out of the trunk, get your ass out of the trunk, get your ass out of the trunk. You walk like a dog, get your ass out of the trunk, get your ass out of the trunk. Oh, so good. 
so good. I really want to do an album reaction, but like to be honest, all I'm going to be doing this whole weekend is studying, completely straight out studying. And like I just today even was difficult to do this. I'm battling with my cancer medication. So like that is causing absolute chaos for me. So right now at the moment, like it had to be a soju day today because I am like, and I think I mentioned this before, I wake up at 5 a.m. currently at the moment. I study for three and a half hours. Then I go do the day job. Then in the afternoon, I end up like, doing my modules for studying which take about six hours and then sometimes I don't even time for dinner at the moment and then I go straight into my Korean homework and then I repeat the cycle every day and like the Korean homework itself is taking me like about two hours to do so so I'm like barely getting any sleep at the moment so I apologize this is what you get from me um but he's my bias uh, along with Jin, so my twin biases. So I am going to uh, definitely be streaming his album and listening to it and loved it. So far, I just really enjoying the fact that he spends so much time working out what he wants to say and has to say not only about himself, but about uh, the army that he cares for. He's like, in a way, trying to like talk about not being afraid of what other people think, both these songs, not being afraid of what other people think, um, not being afraid of being confused or lost and embracing that and figuring out who you're supposed to be and just living the best life you can live because God damn it, it's short. And I know that because of like dealing with cancer for like a year now, it's longer than a year, year and a bit. I realized how short life is and that's why now I don't give a damn. Like I'm just going to live my life how I'm supposed to live it. And yeah, the last five years of my life have been hell, but that's okay. I can restart and I can figure out the right place where I'm supposed to be. So yeah, that was great guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts below on like what you thought of it and like um, if you really enjoyed this as much as I did. And I'm going to go and <laughs> chill now. Look, I'm even flushed. My cheeks feel flushed from, <laughs> from the soju. Um, so I'm going to go chill and relax and listen to the rest of the album. Bye. Annyeong. You did a good job, Lini. Please don't. Hey, fan base. So fluffy. What so is cute. actually wrong you ready? with you? You're dance such a, dance. a freak. Dance it System failure. Lean, sudden, hey. Ew.